Hey guys, Chris here. I'm going to be doing a quick little video on a special little guy here. My male anaconda. He is a green anaconda. And I just wanted to do a little video on a bunch of the, uh, you know, misconceptions and myths about anacondas. Um, uh, one, you know, misconception about them is that they are vicious man-eating snakes and that if you hold one, it's going to bite you uh, to, till you die, pretty much. Um, that is, uh, clearly, you know, not the case here. Um, obviously you can get, you know, a very aggressive snake who might, um, you know, think that, you know, you're trying to attack it. Typically those are, uh, wild-caught snakes. Um, and not until recently they've really been bringing in anacondas that were captive bred. So, um, you know, as you can see, this guy's a captive bred. He is just chilling out with me here. Just, you know, having a good time. Another misconception with uh, a bunch of the anacondas is that they're all going to grow up to be huge snakes. Now, he's going to be pretty big in his own right. Um, he'll be anywhere from about 10 to 12 feet long uh, with a pretty good girth to him. But... He's not going to be, you know, the gargantuan snake that everybody thinks he's going to be, which is the females. The females can grow anywhere from 15 feet to 20 feet, 25 foot being a really big female anaconda. Um, another uh, common misconception with these guys is uh, their tanks. Let me open the door here real quick. A lot of people think that their tanks consistently need just nothing but water. Water, water, water. And as you can see from his tank that I have set up, he has a water bowl and he can fit in his water bowl. But most of his tank is actually land. And I barely have to spray this tank. Uh, as you can see from his skin, let's get him back in the uh, nice bright light here for a second. As you can see from his skin, he gets consistent single sheds all the time. I'm trying to be a camera hog here. <laughs> he, uh, he always has um, nice solid skins, uh, never has issue shedding it. So, um, you know, he's, he's a really healthy snake um, and he doesn't, you know, have you know, a tank that is three-fourths water or even half water. Um, I'd say, like, maybe one-third of his tank is water, if that. Uh, probably closer to one-fourth. Sorry. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that's Max. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video with him to uh, have a lot of the common misconceptions kind of, you know, answered. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, leave them down below. Uh, I'll do my best to uh, answer you guys if you've got any questions. Um, yeah, until next time, uh, have a good one, guys. And once again, I'll be doing updates with Max here soon. Um, hopefully, I'll have a uh, feeding video up soon for you guys so uh, you know you guys can see the difference between a ball python feeding and a, and a, a juvenile amateur uh, anaconda. So until next time, guys, have a good one.